Welcome back to another Sweet Home 3D tutorial. In this video, uh, we're going to use the drawing that we created in, in, the, in the last tutorial, and we're going to just kind of make it look a lot nicer. So we're going to actually just spice it up a little bit and uh, add some furniture and make, it, make this look more like if we were sharing it with a client or trying to pitch the idea to an investor. Um, we can make it look nicer than just like a regular construction drawing documents. So first thing we want to do is actually we can change the view that we see here. So I'm going to actually change this a little bit. We'll just make this. We'll be looking at our 3D view quite a bit here because we're focusing on this 3D model a lot more than just the 2D engineering specifications. Uh, so what we're going to do first is go to 3D view and go to modify 3D view. And this just changes the way that our sky uh, so by default, let's, we just have a blue color sky and a gray color ground. But if we go to 3D view, modify 3D view, we can change the way that the ground looks. We can change it to a different color, like we can do green to have it look more like grass. Or we can actually do a texture. So we go to 3D view and we can actually choose a texture. And there is a texture grass that already comes in here. We can even grab our own texture if we want. Like you can grab, um, yeah, we, we, can, we can put anything down here. But let's do grass, and let's do, uh, for our sky, let's also do a texture, and let's just do this blue sky texture. And so this looks, this looks really nice. So now we have some grass and a blue sky. Pretty cool. And now, um, we can actually come in too. There was an option if we want. If it's like too harsh and hard looking for us, we can change the, the brightness of it as well. And so we can come down here and do this. And so, oh, I'm sorry, that's, of our, that's our actual model. Um, let's come back up. So we'll, we'll do this in a second. We'll do the shading. But this controls the shading and the wall transparency also. So if we want these walls to be a little bit more transparent, we can come to modify 3D view. This transparency is pretty cool. Do it about halfway, and then it makes it so we can kind of see through these walls, and it makes it look pretty cool. So it just depends on what we want to do. If we want to create a glass-looking model, we might just leave it like this. But I'm going to bring that back up because we're going to actually color our walls and uh, do some textures on our walls. So I'm going to put this back down to wall transparency here. All right, so let's change this floor first of all. So we double click here. Oh, get our selection tool first and then double click our floor. And we can come over here to we have a floor, a ceiling, the walls around the inside of the room. We can add baseboard, which we'll want to do. In fact, let's just add baseboard right now. So let's add baseboard and the baseboard height is going to be let's do like we want this to be awesome so let's make it six inches high and then uh, we're gonna add we're gonna have it just be a color it's gonna be white where's our white at it's gonna be basically white okay so we've got a nice white baseboard now oh hello six feet so we did a Wayne's coating on accident double click here we want that to be um, six inches so now we have a nice six inch white baseboard in here we can Zoom in and kind of see what that looks like. Very cool. And uh, let's double click up here and let's change our wall color inside the room. Let's do a texture. And let's do, there. there is some wall ones like we have a marble wall, blue tiles. We could do brick on the inside, but there was one that was like a rough cast. Let's just do this like, kind of like a, I don't know what it is, stucco or like a, some sort of a textured wall. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. And then let's do our floor. So all this we're doing is just from this room. We're just clicking on. We don't have to, we don't have to grab each individual wall. We can just do it from just this room. Uh, let's go to our floor, and let's put a texture on the floor. And we have all these different floor textures. We can do pebbles. No, let's come. We can just push the arrow keys and get a demonstration of what they look like. A little sample. So there's not a whole lot here. We probably want to grab some more, but let's just do, I guess, these, uh, let's do this black and white tiles. That'll match our wall pretty good. Great. So this is how what the inside of our place looks like now so far. Looks pretty good. And, um, and then we can do the ceiling too. So we can't see the ceiling yet, but if we want to see the ceiling, we, if, if we're really going to show this to like an investor, we right click and go to virtual visit and we can show them what it actually looks like to be inside here. And right now there's no ceiling, it's just like blue sky. But we can put a ceiling on by left clicking, uh, double click, left click very quickly, and then go to display ceiling, and then choose a texture for the ceiling. And we'll put in like, um, what would a good ceiling thing look like? 
Uh, I don't even know. We could have a wood. We could use this wood floor for a ceiling, maybe. Would that look okay? Yeah, not too bad. So then it looks like this. So we have our room here, and we can kind of show what it looks like. Or maybe even like, let's just do a color. Ah, we'll leave it wood, whatever. So this is it. And then we can, I'm just left clicking and looking around in the 3D space. We can use our arrow keys to walk around. We can actually walk and we can turn and we can see different, if we want to inspect the window or see what this room looks like. This is it. We can look up and down. Let's come back. I'm going to right click and go to my aerial view again. And let's change, if we want to change the outside of here, um, what we can do, we can left click and select everything. Well, actually, let's just do just our walls. So I'm going to hold down Shift. I'll select these four walls. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to go Modify Walls. So this lets us choose the color. We have our left side and our right side. <clears throat> Since I drew this, I remember that I drew this thing clockwise. So the left side of every wall is going to be the exterior. So that's how I know if I want to change the color or texture. Maybe we want to change it and do a brick texture for our walls. Let's come down here and choose a, uh, a white like brick like this and go OK. And now we have brick for our walls on the outside. So that's how we can kind of create, and this is like, I think kind of ugly. We can change our door. If we double click our door, we can also um, change it. What can we do? Matte. Oh, we can do a texture too. So we go unchanged texture. Or maybe we don't want to do it. We just want to do a color. So let's do a color and we'll give it like a nice blue door. Just so we can make this thing look super weird. Let's make it more like a more friendly blue so it's not as crazy. But I guess it's still kind of crazy. Anyway, you get the idea. Uh, we can change all this. I just want to show you we can change the ground texture, change the sky. Um, and then we can come in here and we can look and see if we when, when we go to modify 3D view. We can make this a little bit darker and kind of shade it a little bit differently to get, make it look, you know, a look that we're trying to achieve. I think we can do transparency even with the colors and we can kind of see transparently what it looks like. So, yeah, that's kind of like uh, spicing up or like making things look a little bit nicer for, uh, for an actual client that you're building something for if that's your goal using Sweet Home 3D. Uh, and then if we do render this, if we do print this, it will print the same way. Whatever we set in our 3D view, I'm going to put this back to wall transparency. If we go to file, uh, print, or no, we go to print to PDF, I mean, it's going to, I'll just say 555, we'll go save. Let's see what this looks like. So the document it printed is going to have our materials list like in our last video. It shows the floor plan, but now it's actually showing with the floor. So if we have multiple rooms, this is kind of cool because it'll show like a kitchen and bedrooms and it kind of breaks out the floors a little differently. And then it'll show an actual it'll show exactly what we what, what we changed. It shows the grass now and the sky. So compared to the last thing we printed out with was this in the last video. And there's like this one here. So you know, it depends on it depends on who you're sending it to. If you're sending it to a, a builder, they're probably just going to want to see something like this in the city. They just want to see this. They don't really care to see this kind of stuff. Although you could send them a, a, a modified version. And if we want to get just a 3D version, what we can do, if we want just this 3D version of like right here, of this view, we can actually come in and just click this camera tool. And we can click Create. And it creates a picture that we can then save on our computer. So we save it on desktop and call it uh, house or whatever. And then that is now saved here, just this single picture. So we could email just this picture to someone. And we can change the size and make it bigger, uh, change the angle, of course. But that's how we would do just a 3D picture if we didn't want to send the plans and the actual uh, materials list. Hope you found this video informative. And uh, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, ask your questions below. And I'll catch you on the next video.